people. Jesus knows he's about to be crucified, and this is the last thing he does with them. Say, hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Let's sit down, please. Just don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Maybe God does not want it being done. So he got up. Jesus got up from the meal. And he took off his outer robe. And he took a towel. And he wrapped it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin. And began to wash the disciples' feet. The disciples' dirty feet. And dry them with a towel. He loved them before he left them. I want you to see this. The King of Kings. The Lord of, the Lord of glory. He said he had everything. Under his control, under his disposal. He could have not went through this. But he loved them so much. And he loved us, us so much. That he humbled himself as a servant. And he washed their feet. Before he died for them. Before he died for us. Y'all, it is a mighty major thing. You know, we talk about gods, uh, you know, they're not really gods, but we talk about, like, you know, Hercules and how powerful mm -hmm. he is and all these mythical, made-up junk. Mm -hmm. You don't hear about none of them dying for the people that, he, that they love, but you have a god. I'm talking about God that created everything. And he died for us. Right. You've never had another man die for you. To me, it's powerful. It's so powerful to think about the love that he had so that we didn't spend an eternity without him because he could not stand to live without us. Praise you, Jesus. And I want to talk about the wedding proposal. Now, He's sitting at a table with a bunch of burly, I can just see them, bearded, excuse me guys, for the ones that have beards, and I love to see my husband with a beard, but fishermen, tax collectors, hardworking men, he's sitting around this table with them, and he's loving on them. 